defense and a timeout called by Portland. And uh, that would be three timeouts called here in the first half of this game. So St. Mary's and Gonzaga, as we were talking a little bit about uh, them earlier, but uh, the WCC tournament has been dominated by these two teams over the last four years. Well, those two programs pretty much have the trifecta. And what I mean by that, Andy, is they're rich in talent because they do a great job of recruiting. They're outstanding coaching staffs. And both have really good home court advantages. And when you put that all together, you have dynamic programs. And certainly Gonzaga won, St. Mary's two in the last four years. That's what they've been about. St. Mary's the defending champs. And that was a lot of news around here, especially because these Bulldog fans are so used to having their team finish number one in the seating every year, it seems. Let's see what Portland has in mind here after they get Preston back into the ballgame. Well, they need a good possession, meaning they need a basket. That's what they need right now. They need to stop the bleed. And there's a nice start, at least. Yeah, Ryan Nicholas delivered. His, he and his buddies, they needed that basket badly. Andrew Eddy, one of the uh, seniors honored before the game, in the lineup. And now Mangos hits that one. Well, he, Kevin Pangos is looking comfortable out there yeah. today, isn't he? Unlike BYU the other night, he is feeling it. One thing about Pangos, though, is we talked about not afraid to take that shot. He was one of 12, but he hoisted up 12 three point attempts. Well, I, I actually agree with that. I mean, it, it shoot or shoot. I mean, you've got to keep believing in yourself. Rodgers yeah, believing in that one. It goes down for three. 33 19 in favor of the Bulldogs. Quick look inside. Kronowski right back and it comes in home. A really nice inside screen by Eddie to free up Karnowski. It, it's almost surgical, their offense, isn't it? Well, they're all about execution. They're all about being unselfish, and they're all really good passers. You know, if you if you put that all together, I mean, you're going to be dynamic offensively, and they certainly are. Well, a foul as Guy Landrietti is called for the personal foul. We have a, an official's timeout here. Well, they make the easy ones, and uh, we'll see them make some trick shots. The Gonzaga Bulldogs. Yeah, don't try this at home when we come back. Gonzaga make all the regular normal shots, but how about some of these trick shots? And put together a little video off the wall. Yeah, we got Kevin Pankos and Kyle Trakinis and Drew Barham. And this is phenomenal stuff. Uh, that's two. And, uh, you know, the third time's a charm, right? Yeah, right. Now, we don't know how many reps it took all of this to happen. Nonetheless, it's super impressive. Uh, this is the best one. Knocks the ball in midair. That, that's that's fun. Absolutely. And it just kind of goes to show you how loose this this team is. And it's easy to be loose when you're 15 and 0 in the conference and have 28 wins. Well, it is. But it takes a lot to get there, Andy. And talking to Mark Few before the game, he said, you know, this team has that true chemistry. You know, they really care about one another and play extremely well with one another. Barker with that rebound. Strong to the basket. Yeah, Riley Barker has provided some good minutes off the bench in this last half of the season for the Pilots. Nice job. And a foul there on Rodgers at the top. Now, just, be, just so you don't think we were playing around with any video tricks here, we're going to show you that last one again because this is impressive. Slow-mo, look at that. Balls collide in midair. I mean, talk about perfection of timing. <laughs> and then it has to travel the perfect distance. I wish we could get to the bottom and find out how many, how many takes it would take to get that right. Impressive nonetheless. He goes slow there by Presley and a reach out on uh, Parker. Now, Linux is a load. Well, 
You know, he, he is. I mean, he he's one of the best players in the country. Okay, he, top three or five players in the nation. That's how good he is, and he has no weakness at seven feet. I mean, he he has a complete offensive game like yeah. we showed, and then defensively, he guards, he blocks shots, and he's a terrific rebounder. And it doesn't look like it takes much effort at all. It's just natural. Nice no look pass there. Shot missed. Olenek right there to put it back up and in. Well, what I think is really interesting about Kelly Olenek is he played point guard position through his junior year in high school. That's why his skill level is so high, and then he grew like seven or eight inches. And again, the pilots need a basket. Gressley in some trouble. Shot clock down to 10. Bailey takes a winning one on one and a foul. Foul call. It will be Portland basketball. This game is brought to you by the Family Home Care. You always get the home court advantage you deserve. Live happy with FHC. Mark Few not entirely excited about that call, but Kelly Olenek calling the bump on the drive of Kevin Bailey. And Kevin Bailey, nice job of recognizing you had Olenek on you. Kind of a mismatch. He tried to take him off the dribble and drew the foul. Dribbled off the foot, scrambled for it, bell to the deck. And he tried to call a timeout, but the jump ball is called. It will be Gonzaga basketball on the alternating possession. But you need guys like, like that, diving to the floor. On the sixth turnover early for Portland. Yeah, it created another possession for Gonzaga. That's why you do that. I mean, you don't know. Maybe necessarily you have the possession arrow. You see that ball on the deck and you try to go get it. Simple as that. Nice deflection there. Off of Tanner Riley and out of bounds. And for Portland, it's getting dangerously close to being out of hand this game. So they need to get their share of stops and score some points down at the other end to stay in this first half. Portland right about that number that Gonzaga allows their opponents here in the first half is a limit of three pass to the basket and dunks it home. I'm sure that drives coaches nuts with the fact that it was just that easy. Well, it does. I mean, uncontested shots just kill you. Riley with a step back three. And deflects to a winnick. And here's a seven footer running the point. And his pass picked off. And now Nicholas toward the hoop. Missed. And the rebound tapped out of bounds. Last touch by Riley. Oh boy, that's unfortunate. I mean, Ryan Nicholas, he's got to make that shot. And uh, Bryce Presley, terrific job of intercepting that pass. It looked like, you know, they had something going. They were going to get an easy two. So now again, the pressure on Portland to try to stop Gonzaga and keep this manageable. You're exactly right. I mean, Portland, they need to finish this half strong to stay in this game. That's not going to help. Old alley -oop from one big to the other. Again, they play off of one another so well. Kelly Olenek is, I mean, he passes like a guard. Like we said, he played point guard up until a few years ago. They try to go back door, and the ball deflected out of bounds. Now some good defense there by David Stockton. But the Gonzaga Bulldogs sharing the load there. One big to the other. And Harris, the recipient of that easy layup. Bulldogs in control. Now I'm not one to take matters lying down. So when I broke my ankle, I was pretty frustrated. Bulldogs by 20, 41-21, 345 to go here in this first half. And again, coach the offense, uh, a lot of guys moving without the basketball. Yeah, with, which Gonzaga does so very well. With Kenny Olenek, he's got his back to us right there at the elbow. And as the ball is being reversed to the other side, Harris is going to come across with a little bit of a brush screen. And then Olenek with the great curl. And if you're Gonzaga, that's awesome. But if you're Portland, they got to play better defense than that. Zaga has 11 assists on their 17 field goals. As you see, Olenek, six points, five rebounds, and four assists already. 
And they have made 12 of their last 14 field goals, and they have all been in that bunny range right near the basket. They have. Well, again, they're selfless. They're all very good passers. One of the best passing teams in the nation. Rodgers forcing the issue and leaving the layup short. Now the Bulldogs on the transition run. Harris. High Archer. Good. And a foul. Again, Gonzaga off the rebound puts tremendous pressure on the defense. I mean, this is what they do so very well. Is they the quick outlet, guards available, that's Pangos, and then he sees Elias Harris just coming down the lane, too free if you're Portland, a Portland defender. And, and I really liked how Elias showed his athleticism there by avoiding the charge. Good body control by the big guy. And he converts on the and one opportunity, and your steal there by David Stockton. And yeah, that name does sound familiar. He is the, uh, the son of John Stockton. We'll start with the Utah Jazz for. Oh, he only had a 19 year career. <laughs> All time leader in the NBA in both assists and steals. That is rather impressive. And he could score a little bit too now. When needed. You know, a lot of people don't realize, Andy, is second all time leading in, in points in the NBA. Second all time is his teammate, Carl Malone. Absolutely, the mailman. I'm not sure Olenek knew that it went in. Because <laughs> he kind of lost control of it. Hey, but it's your night. Well, your afternoon, it's your afternoon. It's been their season. 11 0 run again by the Bulldogs, and a near steal by Harris. They'll reach in and commit the foul. Let's take a look at this and see if Olenek actually did know that that ball went down. Well, David Stockton with the perfect alley oop pass, and yeah, he, I guess he did see it. But you can see it. Barker does a good job of trying to disrupt the alley oop, but Olenek, he still took it home. And he'll take a rest with those eight points. And as Mike Hart will come back in, he'll guard the inbounder. Nicholas has missed a couple of shots inside for Portland. Defense near steal by Stockton again. As Rogers will hoist and bank that one in. Yeah, Derek Rogers, the lone senior for the Pilots, has made a couple threes in this game. Good job by him. And if this continues, folks are going to be looking at the number one team in the land come Monday, the Gonzaga Bulldogs. A feather in the cap for this program that has many, many accolades over the last. 15 years. That one left short. Well, don't think they don't want this to be a convincing win. They do. For that very reason. Bailey. Again, a 